So over the last couple of months, I've really been playing around with my affiliate blog here and I've managed to do most of the things that I set out to do for this particular website. But there's been one thing that I've just never got around to doing and actually it shocks me that this isn't in default WordPress. So I wanna show you what that thing is in this video and then I'm gonna show you how to go and set it up. And this is gonna be very useful for anyone that's trying to do any SEO, so search engine optimization for their website. In particular, if you're doing something like an affiliate blog, which my site, is. So what is this thing? It's adding no follow to my affiliate links and other outgoing links from my website. So quickly, what is a no follow link? This is a good article from the Kinsta blog. No follow is a HTML attribute that allows you to tell Google and other search engines not to pass any SEO value to a specified link. Essentially, as the name suggests, it tells Google crawler robots not to follow the link. And as you can see, they give some examples of where you might want to use this. And the first one here, so sponsor sponsored links if you're receiving payment for a link, either directly or via something like an affiliate program, it's best practice to apply a no follow. So that's my case. I'm writing reviews on WordPress plugins linking to their website, and I wanna put a no follow there so that search engines don't follow their links and I don't pass SEO juice to them. Again, I'm not an SEO expert, but I know enough just to know that basically I need to be adding these into my website for certain outgoing links. And that's what I'm gonna show you how I managed to achieve today in today's video. Video. If you want to learn more about this, just go to Google, type in rel no follow, learn more about it. It's related to SEO. You want to be adding it to outgoing links or affiliate links and stuff like that. So if you are search engine optimizing your website, you probably want to go and learn more about this. So I did mention that you can't do this out of the box using default WordPress. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we head on over to my staging website, which is here, and let's just say I have this where I'm linking to the Astra WordPress theme. So the way that I would go and add no follow. If I click on the link here and then I select the links here, you know, I don't have any options there. If I click to edit the link here, I don't get any options here. So how do we go and do that using default WordPress? We have to click on the, the link or click on this block and then we need to go up to here and go edit as HTML and then we need to find it there and then we would need to go and add it here. So it'd be no follow like that. WordPress out of the box adds no referrer and adds no opener. If you want to learn about what they do, just go and do a Google search again. It's going to show you a little bit more about that and why they do it, basically for security reasons. But this is the one that we want to be adding. So now that we've gone and edited the code and added that manually, we could go ahead and click update. And now if we preview this on the front end and I go down to that in the blog post and I right click and go inspect, we can see that no follow has been applied to that link. So the downside of this is obviously every time you need to go out and do that for an outbound link and you want to add no follow, you need to go and manually edit that and edit the HTML. It's not the end of the world, but obviously any manual input from your side has room for error. And it's just a little bit of additional work, which you don't really need to do if you do what I did to my website. So the way that I'm adding nofollow links to my website now is by installing a plugin. So we want to go back to our dashboard and we'll go plugins and then add new. And then up here, we're going to search for rel no follow. And you want to install this plugin here by Stefano. So go ahead and click install and then activate. And now that's activated. So let's search for that down here. And I want to show you a couple of things. So ways to use this plugin. So let's go view details. And you can see that there's a filter here. So if you have a look here, when a post is saved, the plugin adds rel equals no follow attributes to post external links. So it's going to add them to all all the links that are going to another domain in our posts when we save that post. By default, the plugin will only act on posts, no pages or other custom post types, but you can use this filter here to make it run for other post types. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're gonna go back here and then I'm going to go to WP Codebox. And this is a plugin that I use to add all my PHP snippets, CSS, JavaScript, anything customizing my website goes in here. I don't use my functions.php file. I don't use style.css anymore. This is a really good plugin. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go and check it out. I'll link you to the lifetime deal and it's like $39. So let's go ahead and click new snippet. And then up here, we'll say rel no follow. And it's going to be a PHP snippet. And we're just going to load this everywhere. And then here we're going to paste the code and we'll save. And then we'll turn that on and save again. So you want to go ahead and add all your post types into here. So posts and pages, we'll leave that because that's how I want them to work in my business. But I also have a, another post 
post type, which is called WP underscore review. So we'll click save. And that's my post type here under product reviews and then all reviews. And this is just the post type that I use to review pl uh, WordPress plugins and software. So we've got posts, pages and reviews. So that covers my personal business. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. So as I mentioned before, this isn't going to work unless we save the post or the custom post because this triggers to update all our links to roll no follow only when the post is saved. We need that action to fire this update. So let's do our first product review and then we'll go and batch update all of them. Let's go to product reviews and all product reviews and we'll start with the Bricks Builder review. So Bricks Builder, which is here. So I'm going to go ahead and view this on the front end and we're going to click edit. So before I go and save this, let's go to the front end of the website and let's try and find a link where when we do do the save, the plugin will update it to have no follows. So let's go down and let's have a look at this link here. So click here to read a very in-depth article on CSS tricks. So that's an external website, cssstricks.com. So if I right click and go inspect element, we can see it has no referrer and no opener. Again, WordPress adds this by default. So let's go back to this and we're gonna click update. And now that's updated, the plugins run and done its thing. So let's go back here and we're just gonna refresh the page. So now we can see this one has no follow added to it there. Here's another link. So head on over to the Bricks Builder website to try their demo. That's going to link to the Bricks website. If I right click and go inspect element here, we can see that because it's going to an outbound URL, it has no follow added. Now, no follow by the plugin is only added for links that are going to another domain that isn't my domain. Now, I want to point out if I right click and go inspect element here. So this is an affiliate link. So this resolves to a third party domain domain, the Bricks website. So even though it's my website, wagepirate.com forward slash go forward slash Bricks Builder, if I click on this, it redirects directly over to the Bricks Builder website and the plugin is smart enough somehow, I don't know, somehow it knows that it's not on my domain, even though the URL is my domain name and it can identify that this resolves to a third party website and thus it adds no follow. So the plugin does not add no follow to inbound links. So if I try and find a link here that links to one of my blog posts, so this one here, speed up your WordPress website. This is another post on my website. So if I right click and go inspect element, you can see that there's no rel equals no follow. And as you can see, there's actually no rel attribute at all. So because this is linking internally to my own website, it doesn't have the no follow link added by the plugin. Cause again, there's no need. It's still staying in my website, but there's actually no rel equals no opener or no referrer. Cause again, we're not referring or we're not sending people to it in external URL. This is staying within my website. And so there's actually no role attribute at all. So what I would recommend doing is doing one post, viewing the source code, making sure that the plugin's doing exactly what you want it to do. And then if it's working how it should work, then you can go and bulk update all your posts that you want to apply this to. So the way that you would bulk do this is you go back to the dashboard and then let's just say we want to update all my product reviews. I'm going to go all product reviews. And then here I just select all of them, bulk actions, edit, apply, don't make any changes, and then just click update and that causes every post to go through the save cycle again inside WordPress, which triggers that plugin to do its thing, update the content, etc., etc. So that's all done. So they should all be updated now. And then my posts, so if I go to posts or posts, you can change it obviously up here. Let's just see if we can do a hundred here. So there, and then I'll go edit and then apply and then update. Let's see if this works. It doesn't really matter. This is just a staging website. So that, that actually worked. So we have four more there, but you guys get the idea. I would just go and update those four here. And then I would go in to my pages and then bulk update them there. And basically all my content then should have run through the plugin and had that added. So now that we've done that, it's worth pointing out that this plugin only operates or only affects the content of a post. So the content area. So the things that you write into Gutenberg and so on. So that means anywhere outside your content area, you need to go and manually update it. And that's really easy to do. So for example, here in my header, I have this linking out to YouTube. I'd probably want to add it there. This Instagram, I want to add it there. So the way that I would do that, go edit with bricks, and then I would go edit header. And then here I would click on my icon list, and then we can edit each icon. So here inside bricks, they make it really easy. You can add the rel here. So here they even give it to you in the placeholder. So we'd write it there. And then we just do that for each of the icons here. So I'd go down and do 
it there. And then this one actually links to my contact page. So I'm not going to do it there. So we've done YouTube, Instagram. So that's all good. So I'll click save and going back here, if we reload the page and then right click and go inspect element, we can see this has no opener, no referrer, and then our no follow. And the way that I did this in my website is I just worked top to bottom from the home page and clicked through all my templates and basically exactly what you think. I just worked my way top to bottom on every page across my website, just adding it wherever I needed. Basically any outgoing link, I did that too. And I just added those three attributes there. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm not an SEO expert, but I'm jumping, you know, head first into learning about affiliate marketing, blogging, SEO, all that sort of stuff, doing YouTube videos. And it's basically a completely new business model to what I've been doing previously. But if you're somebody that's selling stuff online or you're trying to build an email list or you do have an affiliate blog and again, you should be building an email list. You wanna learn how to do opt-in pages, lead magnets, sales pages, all of that. One click up sales in WooCommerce. I'd recommend watching this video here because my experience over the last five years is growing a WooCommerce website that did, you know, basically nearly four million million dollars last year. And this video shows you two plugins that I'm using in that site. So I'd go and watch that if that interests you on this video now, and I'll put that on screen for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.